parts of Accra often get flooded when there is a downpour. The situation is attributed to choked gutters as a result of dumping of refuse indiscriminately by the public and poor drainage systems. In the bid to address the flooding situation in Accra, the Greater Accra Resilient and Integrated Development Garret Project, which is aimed at implementing interventions to address flooding in the Odor Basin, has launched the Social Behaviour Change Communication SBCC campaign. Speaking at the launch, Minister for Works and Housing, Francis Asenso Bwachi, called on the public to be responsible when disposing of waste. He urged the MMDAs to be up and doing in ensuring that good hygienic conditions are maintained in every part of the Greater Accra region. As we roll out this campaign, I urge the various metropolitan, municipal and district assemblies, especially in Accra, to intensify their law enforcement activities by strictly applying their sanitation bylaws the building and planning regulations in, in, in sanctioning violators without fear nor favor. For the flood mitigation to succeed, assemblies must work as expected. At the core of these observed challenges, Nana Chairman, is inappropriate human behavior in our own communities. We, the people, must complement government's efforts in this regard. Minister for Sanitation and Water Resources, Cecilia Abnadapad, noted that the government is making significant progress with the agenda to make Accra the cleanest city in Africa. If I may touch on the cleanest city charge by His Excellency the President, we all can see that there is a marked improvement in our handling of solid and liquid waste. We had a figure of 33% of homes with household toilets, their own toilets, I mean. Now we have a figure of 59%, a little over 59%, which means from last year to this year, there is an increment of 26%. Let's clap for ourselves. Because this gathering is about sensitization. It's about understanding for ourselves what it means to observe cleanliness. Project coordinator for Garrett, Dr. Ohine Safo, says if the public does not cultivate positive behaviors to ensure that the right things are done in terms of sanitation, government's effort to address the flooding and sanitation problems will be in vain. We have designed various interventions based on structural measures or concrete measures. However, we recognize that if the behavior of people do not change, all that we do will be to no avail. And for that reason, we are gathered here today to launch our campaign for social behavior change. We recognize that it is bad behavior that is filling the other basin day in and day out.